Check this out guys, we have a proper 3x3 piston door in MCPE. Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back today. We are in MCPE once again doing another redstone tutorial. This time it's going to be on a 3x3 compact piston door. Now this design is not created by me. It was created by another YouTuber. So you can go check out the original video in the description box down below. But anyways, his video will explain all of the details of the builds but mine will just show you how to build it as quickly as possible, as well as I will be making a few minor adjustments for the latest MCPE updates since he made his on Windows 10. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this 3x3 door. As you guys can see, when I click on this button right over here, the door will open up using only pistons, not any slime blocks, and it will have that double piston extension as well, creating a proper door for MCPE, just like PC. So let's go ahead and take a look at this again by closing the door and boom there we go We click it one more time and all of the pistons retract and we have that double piston extension at the bottom And one last time close that door and as you guys can see it is pretty fast All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this really awesome door All right, so since I'm building on a super flat world I'm going to be building above the ground But you could do this inside the ground if you choose but anyways the floor level is going to be one, two, three, four, five blocks. So that means you dig down five blocks if you're building it in your house. But now we need to extend this one on each side, then destroy the blocks at the bottom just like that. And once we have that, we want to go ahead and just build out the frame of the doorway. So we build up one block on the left side, then build it up by two more. Do the same thing on the other side. Build out one block up over here. Destroy that block at the bottom. Build up one, two. And then we do the same thing at the top. Build up one and then extend this by two, making a three by three doorway. Now, once we have that, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves another block of our choice and then place down one, two, three and four blocks right over here here, destroy these three blocks on top, leaving the quartz block at the bottom, and placing down two sticky pistons facing up right over here. Then you want to grab yourselves a block, place it down right over here, and then place down a sticky piston on its side, facing towards the double piston extension. Destroy this block over there, and destroy this block right at the bottom. Then you want to go ahead and grab yourselves another block of your choice, build out one, two blocks over here, and then grab yourselves a sticky piston, and then place down your sticky piston just like this and then one, two right on top of that to create a three block tall sticky piston area. Then you want to destroy these two blocks over there, grab yourselves another block of your choice, build out one, two, and then bring out one block like this, then place down one sticky piston like this, and then two more exactly on top. If you guys noticed, the pistons are basically outside of the frame. That way, when there's a block over here, it can be extended. All right, so now we destroy these blocks over there on this side. And then we grab ourselves another block of our choice, place it down right over here, and then place down a sticky piston right at the center, facing down towards our double piston extension. That is one block above our frame. All right, so once we have that, we now have to complete the second frame, which is going to stand on the second or on the other side of our sticky pistons. So to do this, we build out one block like this, then build out two more like that, and then build out two over here, destroy the block at the middle, build up two up over here, and then basically do the same thing on the other side, just like that, and we do the same thing on the top as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then we come back across here and make sure you destroy all of these blocks as well. All right, so that is basically going to be the frame for our doorway as well as all of our pistons. It's 10 pistons in total. So now we need to grab ourselves another block of our choice and place down a block over here and build all the way down to the floor. Yet again, this is five blocks till we reach this block over here. So it should line up perfectly. Then we destroyed these blocks over here, which is four blocks in total. Then we grab ourselves a dropper, place down our dropper facing towards this direction, place down two blocks right over here, and then place down a, actually place down a dropper facing up right over here, and then place out a dropper facing towards this direction on top of that other dropper by crouching and then clicking on it. Then you want to grab yourselves a hopper from our menu, place it down going into this bottom dropper, then grab yourselves a redstone comparator, and then you want to place this redstone comparator by first stepping on top of this dropper, 
just like this and then you want to come across here crouch and then place it down coming out of the top dropper so it should look something just like that then we grab ourselves some blocks of our choice build up two blocks over here place down a redstone torch up here and then another redstone torch here and then finally place down any item of your choice into that hopper and I'm gonna place down a bit of redstone dust then you want to grab yourselves another block of your choice place down a block over here and then you want to grab yourselves a regular piston and place your piston facing towards this direction right over there so the next thing we want to do is grab ourselves a bit of redstone dust place it right over there then place down a block up just like that destroy the block at the bottom place down a button right over here to divert the redstone making it from a bit of redstone dust to a line going towards this piston now the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves an observer block and then with this observer block we need to come across the side and then place an observer block facing towards this direction and then one over here and as you guys can see this is going to be the front then we destroy this block at the back grab ourselves a piston then you want to stand on this block right over here crouch and then place a piston a regular piston facing up in that direction then you want to grab yourselves another observer block place down one over here it doesn't matter which direction and then you want to come across this side and place down an observer block like that and it should be pointing towards this piston and if you guys want to double check that break this block and this is the back of course and this is the back over here as well so that's basically what you need to do now the next thing you want to do is grab yourselves a block of your choice and place down a block right above this redstone torch and then place a block right on top of that redstone torch and a block right on the side of that redstone torch then if you want to place down a block right below this piston grab yourselves a redstone repeater place down your redstone repeater going into that block set that to four ticks and then place down another repeater going into this piston going through this block on top of our observer block to four ticks so i know that's a lot to take in but you guys could definitely slow down the video and kind of watch it multiple times times all right so now let's go ahead and uh, continue building this what we need to do is basically place down a redstone repeater right over here you want to set this to four ticks and you want to grab yourselves a sticky piston place your sticky piston facing down directly in front of that uh, redstone repeater so let's go ahead and try this one more time and we could just build down like this if we don't know how to do it properly like I don't and yeah that's basically how it's supposed to look destroy these uh, three sticky pistons over here and once you have that, you want to go ahead and place down a block of redstone right over here. Then you want to place down a block right over there, a block up like that. So grab yourselves a redstone repeater, set this to four ticks. When this uh, piston is not extended it should activate that repeater and then it will invert this torch which is which is on top of this block all right so once you have that you want to go ahead and grab yourselves a dropper and then you want to place this dropper on the face of this block and then you want to grab yourselves a hopper and place it on the face of that dropper by yet, yet again crouching and clicking on it so as you guys can see that is basically how that is supposed to look then we want to place down a single item into that hopper yet again. I'm going to place a bit of redstone dust. We grab ourselves another block of our choice. Build down two right over here. Destroy this block. And then build up one right over here. And we grab ourselves a redstone comparator from our menu yet again. Place down a redstone comparator going into that block, just like that, coming out of that hopper. We place down a redstone torch right over there, and then we grab ourselves a redstone torch and place it on the face of this block. Then we place down two blocks right below this redstone torch by simply clicking on it. There you go. And then we need to build out one block to the left, grab ourselves a piston, replace this block with a piston facing towards this direction, a bit of redstone dust here on top of that piston to activate it, and finally a redstone repeater going into that block. Alright, so once you have that, you want to go ahead and place down a block right on top of the front of our piston, then place down a redstone torch over here, which should be inverted, then we place down one, two blocks over here, and finally a third block that's going to take us to our sticky piston at the bottom. We place down one, two, three redstone repeaters, set these all to two ticks. Then we grab ourselves some more blocks, place down one, two, three, four, and then place down one block right over here. Grab ourselves a redstone repeater and place down two over here, set these both to two ticks, and then place down a bit of redstone dust right over here and not over there. All right, so once we have that, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves another observer block. So let's just go ahead and go into our menu, grab ourselves an observer block, place it on the face of that extended 
piston, and then we want to grab ourselves a regular sticky piston, place it facing up right in front of that observer block, destroy this block at the bottom, grab ourselves a block of redstone, place it down right over here, and then place down two blocks over here to connect it up to this block, and then we want to place down a block up like this, and then place down one, two, three repeaters, set this to two ticks, set this to four, and set this to two. So there you go. And now we need to extend all the redstone to the other pistons that are remaining. So to do this, we want to grab ourselves a slab. It could be any slab of your choice. Place down a block right over here. And then you want to place down a slab right over there. Destroy this block over here. Place down a regular block. Then place down a block right in the middle over here. Place down a block over there. Grab yourselves a bit of redstone dust and take a signal from that block going over here. Up onto our slabs, which allows for vertical redstone. Place down a bit of uh, redstone dust over our piston then extend this all the way to the other side going into a block that way it powers the piston at the top then grab yourself some more redstone dust and build it across just like this then grab yourselves some blocks of your choice build out one over here and then build down two over there and then build down two over here and then you want to connect up this redstone dust all the way down here to activate all of our redstone uh, pistons. Alright, so now we'll grab ourselves a block of our choice, build up three in the middle, and then three on the right side, and three on the left side, and that should be our entire door completed. The input is going to be on the first dropper that we place down, so let me just go ahead and grab myself a button. And you want to add a redstone repeater signal going into this block. So let me just show you guys how you would do this. You crouch, place a block down over here, then you place down a either a button directly on this dropper or what you can do is place down a redstone repeater over here and then a button wherever to activate that repeater. When you hit it, as you guys can see, the doorway will open up and it works just fine, and then you click it again for the doorway to close. So yeah, that's basically how you would do it, guys. If you did have a problem with the actual tutorial, be sure to watch the video again. I know when I do these complicated builds, you guys do complain that it does not work, but as you guys can see, I did make it work, and I just did the tutorial for you guys to see. So anyways, guys, that basically wraps up today's Redstone tutorial. Like I mentioned, I did not create this build. Go check out the original in the description box down below. If you want a full explanation but either way if you guys did enjoy it please be sure to take one second to smack the like button leave a comment down below and tell me which tutorial you would like to see next as well as don't forget to subscribe to see when i post those videos if you guys watched all the way to this point type in hashtag team twist into the comments so i know how awesome you are but either way this was twist and i'll see you guys next time